It's a quarter million crowd at Aintree for the Grand National, drawn from all corners of the world. With real April weather, fashion gives place to comfort. Tips are flying around so fast there's no time to use a pin. Oh, do hurry up, ladies. The nice, kind gentlemen are afraid you'll leave it too late. If you don't know what to back, ask him. Quick, is there anything to do with spots? Here they go. Grantham's up on well-fancied Prince Brownie, Kelly on Shagreen, Thompson's on Park Point. And now they leave the paddock with Royal Tan in the foreground. Somebody thinks he knows something. And now 36 of the world's best steeplechasers parade and excitement climaxes as the time for the start nears. They're under starter's orders now. It'll take a bit of time to get this lot away. No, by George, they're off! And half the jockeys caught unawares. Clon Carrick, last year's winner, freebooter, and two or three others are badly left as they race for the first jump. Get in front out of the way of trouble till the field thins out is a good rule for a jump or two. Here they come. Prince Brownie, Arctic Gold, Shag Green are over, but there's one down and another and another. They're crashing thick and fast. Land Fort, Finior, Caddamstown, Irish Lizard and four or five others are out of the race. And the course is littered with jockeys. Now see how it happened in slow motion. Gallery and some others are missing as the grey Caesar's wife, Chagreen and Russian hero lead over the open ditch. The fence before Beaches with Caesar's wife the first over, Arctic Gold the favourite, Roland Roy, Chagreen's down, Russian hero, Nickel Coin are all there but half the field is missing as they approach Beaches Brook and the slow motion camera shows you perfection in jumping as they clear the five foot hedge with a big drop to the ditch. Morning cover is down, the only fall at Beaches, as the thinned out field thunders on towards the fence before the canal turn, with Arctic Gold going beautifully. One or two loose horses may give a bit of trouble. Now it's the canal turn, a four foot ten fence with a sharp left hand turn, and Arctic Gold is down, Glen Fires landed on his head, and there's another down, and here comes a jockey flying over the jump without his mount. Now it's Caesar's wife leading, as they head for Valentine's and she's over. Then Dog Watch, Russian Hero, Nickel Coin, Gay Heather, Royal Tan, Berrystown, Broomfield. Slow motion again, as Park Point jumps. He stumbles and Thompson takes a header. Dog Watch at Russian Hero are now leading. Caesar's wife has lost a jockey, but she's going like a steam engine and she's forging ahead. Now she's swerving right across the leaders, there'll be a crash. No, she's clear. That'll done near one. Now there are only seven in it. Three loose horses are running in front of the chair. And there goes Russian Hero out of it, as Gay Heather, Nickel Coin, Royal Tan, Berlis Down and Broomfield head for the water for the end of the first time round. <laughs> out into the country again, and it's Gay Heather leading as the five approach the fatal first jump for the second time. Fence before Beaches and Nickel Coins taken the lead. The mayor trained on ducks, eggs and stuff. Beaches for the second time with Nickel Coin leading from Gay Heather. Here's how slow motion saw Gay Heather and Derry's town go down. 
Darren Towns and Gay Heather's jockeys remount. They're a long way behind, but there's 420 pounds for the third horse. Royal Tan, second in the Irish National 12 days ago, is closing with a nickel coin, and it's going to be a terrific battle between these two. Here's Derrinstown. Two fences behind, but he's only got to keep on his feet to be placed. And if the leaders crash, he can win. What a hope. They're going beautifully, neck and neck. The show jump mare and the Irish seven-year-old. And either can win as they approach the last jump. Keep going, there's nobody behind you. Royal Tan is nearly down. Young O'Brien's kept him on his feet, but Nickel Coyne is well clear. That's bad luck for Royal Tan, second in two nationals. But Nickel Coyne runs on gamely to win the most sensational national since Tipperary Tim's victory 23 years ago, when every horse fell except the winner. First to congratulate John Bullock on his brilliant ride is the man he beat. He's followed soon after by a number of gentlemen who are unavoidably detained at the first jump. Congratulations to a brilliant mare and to the man who sold her three or four times but always bought her back again, her owner, Surrey farmer, Geoffrey Royal.